To overclock your Lano APU, you need to go to Google and type in Fusion Tweaker. This is the software that you can use to overclock your processor. Um, you click on the first one and you choose either 32 bit for your 32 bit OS or 64 bit. This is what it looks like, and this is, like I said, what you're going to use to overclock it. I'm not going to download this because I've already got it on my computer there. It's even running. Um, so another thing you need to get is CPU-Z. You may have downloaded it before or heard of it before. But it's basically, well, it's here. Um, it's like to give you information on your CPU, which is vital for overclocking. Because it gives you um, what voltage and the name of it, frequency, if it's working or not. Um, so download that. That's that's, you need to get that otherwise you're going to break it, you may not know if it's working or not, you may be overclocking it too much so the program I'm using is like I said called Fusion Tweaker, I've um, named it APU of Clock just so I know what it is, I'm not actually called that though um, so click on it, or double click and it has P0 to 7 7 well, well, the P is like um, it's different levels of clock speeds for the processor. Seven is the lowest. So you know when your processor, say if you're on battery, and it can go from like really fast to really slow depending on what you're doing. This is the different steps it takes. Seven is 400 megahertz, and it goes six gigahertz, 1.2, 1 1.4, 1 6, 1.7, or I've, it should be 1.8. I've just put it to 2.1 or you can leave it like that and put, leave it to 1.8 and then put P0 which is like your boost tab you can put that to the frequency you want like um, it normally goes just to P1 that's your standard but the P0 is like the overclocking level which it steps up to if you're gonna have it relatively high or yeah, if you're gonna have it at all higher than normal, I would go to your AMD control panel. Um, it's probably you got this if you got an APU, and I would put it to if it's plugged in. I put it to alternate between all the frequencies, which means that it won't be running at a high clock speed all the time. Otherwise, it'd be loud because of the fan and hot, and may even damage the processor. So after that, um, make sure you've registered that it's working so my processor as you shall see is 1.8 gigahertz normally but at the moment it's gone to 2 I've actually got up to 3.2 but that's a bit too much I wouldn't do that if I was going to go to I'd go say if your clock speed normally was 1.8 I would never ever go anywhere or near or higher than 3 gigahertz because that's that's quite high. So say you don't know if it's getting too hot or not, um, you'd minimize these two and I've got core temp which shows you the processor um, processor uh, temperature or if you were say playing game and you wanted more than the processor one you go and download GPU-Z, same people who made CPU-Z and open that up if it opens, maybe not Maybe, maybe, no, wait, no, try it again. Yeah, this will show you, like CPU Z did, it will show you the clock speed and all information, but mostly the temperature. So that's at 86 degrees at the moment. That's quite high. Um, I'm actually doing some 1080p rendering there. That's why it's high, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't go any higher than 90. If you got to 90, try and step it down a bit or stop what you're doing. For a bit of fun, if you really want to see what your processor score is, you go to My Computer Properties, which will bring up System, and you'll see it says Rating, mine's 5.3. Right, so we go to that Windows Experience Index. This is like Windows Rating for your computer, so they scan everything. So, my SSD, 7.2, Game Graphics, 6.3, Graphics for Aero 5.3, RAM 7.3, but my processor used to be 
and if you click rerun the assessment this will pop up and it will maybe take 10 minutes, 5 minutes it will scan your computer close please yeah it will scan your computer and it will show you how big an improvement if it closes come on yeah so do that and you'll get a real test or number to show you how good it is it's from a rating of 1 7.9 so 6.6 .6 for a process you'll get in like a 300 to 400 pound laptop is pretty amazing